Hi! Today I have for you a Christmas gift idea that's super easy and affordable. Perfect for all those people that you want to give a little something to to say Merry Christmas. Welcome! I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 16 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So we'll be using the Watercolor Christmas stamp set to decorate a jumbo striped peppermint stick for an easy, affordable, and yummy Christmas gift. Every year I try to come up with new Christmas gift ideas that are easy and affordable. Affordable enough to give to everyone on your Christmas list. And something had me nostalgic this year. I think it was the Christmas in the Making stamp set from the 2017 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. Love this set. And with that nostalgia, I remembered when I was in high school there was a fundraiser at Christmas time. You could send a peppermint stick, a jumbo peppermint stick to somebody. They would do that for 50 cents and they'd deliver them during the class and it was just so much fun. I thought, wow, I wonder if I could find one of those. Well, it was so easy. Walked into Dollar General and there they were and for 50 cents a piece. So that's the affordable part, right? Very, very affordable. And uh, and so then became the decorating. I thought, okay, how am I gonna decorate this? Well, what my plan was the watercolor Christmas stamp set with the watercolor Christmas project kit. And as I got going, I thought, okay, you know, it's fun to take the elements, and here are the two elements I was going to use, the season of cheer and the holly leaves and berries, because look on here, and they're the right color. We have the holly leaves and berry right on the packaging. I thought, oh, everything's working out so well. But then I thought, well, if we did that, you could only make four from a kit. So I wanted to make it more affordable for you. So I decided to ditch the kit and I kept the watercolor Christmas stamp set. Okay, so now we're ready to start on the project. I wanted to keep it really easy by simply tying around a piece of pretty ribbon and adding a gift tag. We want to be able to see the stripes. That says Christmas. And we definitely want to be able to see the holly leaves and the berries as well as the name. But look at what kept staring at me. We have this really unattractive nutritional label and the UPC code. Uh, and I thought, okay, well, I don't want to give that up, but let's see what happens if I turn it over. Well, on the back, that's quite unattractive too. We have printing on there. You can still see part of that barcode and even something stamped on it. I thought, okay, what can we do? Well, I'm glad it worked out like this because look what we have. Because now I can keep my holly theme going. We have this pattern from the Quilted Christmas Designer Series paper. And it's real red, just like our stripes. This is working out beautifully. So I cut a piece. Here we go. And I'll have a link to my blog post with all of the measurements. So we're going to cover that up and like I said, keeping the holly theme going. But I wanted to make it more pliable so to do that, let's just take the bone folder. There we go. We'll just start curving it around with this. There. Easy, easy, easy. I know I want the curve to go this way. It'd be really natural to go like that, but we want the curve to go like this. Okay. So now we're going to wrap that around and the color was just perfect. Okay, so now all we need to do is secure that together and to do that we will use the tear and tape adhesive. This is such good stuff. Really nice and strong but really easy to use. Okay, so let's think about the wrapping. Have you ever put the adhesive on the wrong side? Okay, we want it on the inside. Ruh -roh. That's not what I had planned. <laughs> okay. And they call this tear and tape because that's you just can tear it off at the edge, which just saves you a lot of time. There we go. I want to keep it right to that edge though because I want it nice and secure. And look, we can just tear that right off. And if I don't do a good job like this, I can then take my paper snips and finish trimming it. You know what? I didn't do a good job along this edge as much as I'd like, so let's go ahead and just trim that too. I want it right up to the edge, but not hanging over. So I'm just using my paper snips for that. There we go. All right, so now, if you press it down, now it's adhering well to the cardstock. It makes that backing easier to, to lift off. And there we go. Perfect. So we don't want the seam at the front, so let's place it like this. There we go. 
make sure we're covering up all the important nutritional facts. Okay. Let's do a little bit of molding again. There we go. Nice and tight. Let me start securing this at the top instead of trying to do the whole thing. There we go. Get that and then move down so we can pull it nice and tight. There we go. Fantastic. So isn't that attractive? I really, really like this. So now for the ribbon and the tag. I didn't have this wrapped as tightly as I wanted along the bottom because when I made my sample, I was able to press up against my body for some leverage. So thankfully I was able to peel it up because I hadn't pressed well yet without tearing anything and getting that nice fit. Okay, so what I also know is when I went to tie in the ribbon, this still, even though I have this tight, it was wanting to slide. So we've got an easy fix for that. We're going to take the mini glue dots, okay, pull these out and peel it back so we can see one in the light. And here we go, here's our first one. Pick one up with my paper piercing tool. This is a trick I do a lot with my paper piercing tool. If you watch my videos, you know how much I love it. So let's just go ahead and there we go. Get one in there, there. So now it's not going to slide when we're working on the ribbon. Perfect, just one was plenty. So we need a gift tag. So I'm gonna use the Whisper White Thick cardstock because I want it to be nice and sturdy. And we're going to use this greeting from the Season of Cheer. I mean, this Season of Cheer from the uh, Watercolor Christmas stamps that remember us thinking about using these two elements. Okay, and so we're going to do this though in real red. Push flip and lock that lid into place. Let's give this a good inking. Watercolor Christmas comes in clear mount meaning the red rubber it's unmounted or wood mount permanently attached to uh, wood mounts. Okay, hold that down. We want that nice and solid for us. Oh, beautiful. Isn't that font fun? Really wanted this for my candy cane project. And then we're going to punch it out with the pretty label punch. Isn't this pretty? This is from the annual catalog. Oh, there we go. We want to see those holly leaves. <laughs> okay, so we'll center this right in here. And uh, so this is from the annual catalog, this punch. And, uh, but the designer paper and the stamp set, uh, and I showed you the project kit, they're all from the holiday catalog. And December 1st, 2017, we're going to know what's going to be retiring from the holiday catalog. And once that list comes out, it'll be while supplies last. And um, I'm fully expecting, because designer series paper doesn't carry over from holiday catalogs, that, you know, there are... Um, Quilted Christmas designer series paper will be retiring, and I've never seen project kits, Christmas kits, carry over either. So I expect all of that to be retiring too. Okay, so staying with our holly theme, I've got my holly, uh, holly berry builder punch. Okay, so let's go ahead and open that up. And I tried both sides, but I like the smallest one best. So let's get ourselves a couple little holly leaves. There we go. And this is the Emerald Envy cardstock, and it just looks so good with our berries. I mean the holly there. Oh, still need that punch. Come back. And then I have some real red cardstock and let's do these three berries. Now there's a stamp set to coordinate with this. We could have stamped them and you know had all that detail then punched them out, but yeah, I said really, really easy <laughs> is our project. Let's bring back the mini glue dots and let's attach our holly leaves and our berry. So we take them to the project you know, the project to them, so um, not to take away from their extreme stickiness. And I played around over here. I liked it. I had more space to keep them on the tag on this side. There we go. All right, I'm not pressing down yet because I want to make sure my um, holly berries won't be coming, covering up any of my season of cheer. Oh, there it is. One in the center. Fantastic. Oh, perfect. Oh, that looks oh so good. All right, this is so easy. And so now look what I have here. Emerald Envy Striped Ribbon, the Grow Green Ribbon. And the size was perfect. I wanted something more than just a quarter or eighth of an inch, and this was perfect. And the colors are just all working together so well. 
Okay. This is from the holiday or the annual catalog. And we make ourselves a bow. And then I'm going to tell you my another uh, tip that saved me a lot of time and fussing. Okay. Oh, that tied so pretty. So now at this point, you just fluff and play. You know, fluff up the, the loops and then tighten. And oh, look at that. They went together so nicely. And I wanted that to go over this edge. Bring that down. Fantastic. All right, isn't that pretty? And we can leave some pretty nice long tails. That'll look good for this. I think I want those loops a little bit smaller. Fantastic. Okay. That's not too terribly long. Let's go ahead and just trim a little bit of that off. Fantastic. And then if you'd like to get the retiring list, I will have that out to my mailing list on Friday morning. So just go to www.thestampersinsider.com to get subscribed. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so what I did, I mean tags, right? They always have we punch a hole and time around and I did that. I was trying to tie it around the loop and then I tied it underneath with the white baker's twine. Had a quick little bow in back. But then so it wasn't flopping around, I put a mini glue dot on there and I thought, okay, if we're gonna use a mini glue dot for that, let's just skip that whole part of punching a hole and threading baker's twine through it. So back with the mini glue dots, here we go. Boom. Aha. And because this is right where I had it anyway. Now I don't have to mess with that. And press, press, and now that's nice and secure. These are secure, and seriously, I told you, easy and affordable. 50 cents for the candy canes, and uh, the rest of the, uh, the supplies are available to order in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. How long you'll be able to pick up the watercolor Christmas stamp set and the quilted Christmas designer series paper after December 1st, well, you know, then it becomes while supplies last. If you'd like to make my easy and affordable Christmas gift idea, all the supplies are listed under the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.